Okay, hello friends. So I'm here in the garden and I did some research about my problems with um, an infestation of, I don't know, whatever, just things that are eating, eating away at my vegetables. A whole bunch of stuff. I have uh, cabbage aphids, uh, I have the two spotted mites, I have fungus gnats, and um, that's about it. So I have those three issues. And I went to my local garden center and asked them, what do I need to do about it? So they recommend a couple of things. So first, for the fungus gnats, I know the problem is that I overwatered my plants. So, because they're attracted to moisture um, and humidity. And so I'm in this, the plants are in this greenhouse. And um, they're pretty much, they have the perfect environment to, uh, to live and be happy. So I pretty much invited them in here. Um, but what they recommended is to first of all uh, not water it for a couple of days and um, put down these um, fly traps. They're non-poisonous and uh, easy to use so I open this up. It's like a tacky thing. So what I do, I put it next to the soil and shake up the pot, the plant pot and that agitates them and it gets them to start flying and then wham they get trapped on this thing i know that's bad sorry okay so i'm gonna open it up fold it back This is the plant that's giving me the most trouble, so what I'm going to do is... So I'm just going to do it like so. Uh, set it there, and um, hopefully they're attracted to it. And then shake it up. Seems like they're, they're not there now, but they'll be there soon. And, um, okay. dark out. So that's one thing that they recommend. The other thing is um, ladybugs. For the um, aphids and the cabbage mites. Um, so ladybugs are natural predators of those insects. This will help to calm them. So they're thirsty, so because they've been in the refrigerator at the store since they were shipped here. So I have to first spray the plant leaves with water, and that'll help them, that'll make them attracted to the leaves uh, and drink. The video cut off because I ran out of space, so I had to clear up some memory, um, and it was getting dark out. so. What I ended up doing was after spraying the water on the plants, um, on the plant leaves, sorry, I then had to spray the ladybugs with a solution of like 50-50 sugar and water. Um, and what that does is pretty much like makes their wings tacky so that they don't fly around. When you, when you release them, the first instinct is to fly around. Um, uh, this is my mixture. It's really um, maple syrup and water. 
Um, so I sprayed this on them in that little sack that they came in before releasing them. So in the spinach, especially um, the kale and the um, collard greens, I especially put a lot of them in there. Some of them were dead coming from the store. I guess they were there for such a long time. Um, I'm going to have to go and collect those and put them in the compost. But um, so from there, they should be good. If they're happy, they should, you know, they should reproduce and their lava will eat the mites as well. So hopefully that works. Um, I'm going to check back in a week. Okay, here's a view from the outside. I can't go inside because I'm afraid. These things have like pretty much taken over the garden. Um, look, they're all, if you can see at the edge of this plant pot, they're all around the edge crawling and exploring and all on the leaves. And they just seem to be getting acclimated to the new environment. Some of them, I guess I didn't spray some of them well. They got onto the roof of the greenhouse. Um, this is the sack that they came in. And I kind of was just too scared to touch them and let them out. But these are, um, some of them they're gathering around the mustard greens. Um, and that's the spinach that has some of the aphids there as well.